What's up, y'all? What's up, my YouTube people? How y'all doing today? Anybody that want to chat? Hey, man, we have a cooking competition going on right now. Yes, we do. We got a real nice cooking competition going on right now. Uh, uh, barbecue Pitmasters of YouTube. And and uh, I'm in a contest with my boy uh, Greg from uh, Behind the Garage Barbecue. He did an amazing burger, man. He ground his own meat and all that type of stuff. The same as me. But, man, I tell you what, guys. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the chat where you can go vote. What's up, guys? So I want you to go out here and click on this link right here. And, and vote for your boy TNT Barbecue right here. That's why I want you to go over there, click on that link right there, that, 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 that link, and click on that link and go vote, guys, for your boy TNT Barbecue. I've been pretty busy, guys, lately, cooking and booking. I've been on my trailer cooking, man. i seen the video, man. Everybody's putting out great videos, man. Go and check out all those guys' channels. Look at the first round. Look at the second round if you haven't. Guys, it's a lot of learning you can do out there, man. Uh, and I'm telling you what, man, I'm pretty impressed with uh, what everybody putting out. I'm just saying, uh, man, it has been amazing just to be in this competition. And, 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 and you know what? I, I just can't say enough, man, uh, about – What's going? What these guys are doing, man? It is amazing. But yeah, so go on, uh, click on the link, and go down and vote for your your uh, vote for your boy TNT Barbecue right now. Uh, I'm down uh, behind the garage barbecue. Got me down sixty four to thirty six percent. Thirty six percent. He is a eight, but I ain't like he deserved it, man. He did an outstanding job. I'm not gonna sit here and say, boy, I, I mean, even back with Rick's uh be free. One thing Joe has chosen, he he didn't make it easy. This is the best against the best, guys. I'm telling you what, man. These guys put on a competition, and man, all I can do. It's hope that I'm blessed enough to make it to the third round. But right now, I'm behind big time. I'm going to go post Joe Link, the community section right here. I'm going to post this link right here in the, in the chat. Right there. Click this link right there that I just posted and go vote. Man, you need to go vote for your boy TNT. Hey, 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 hey. TNT. Hey, close bounce don't get fed. Man, well, what up, brother? What up, man? But also, too, if you want to see and discuss, I we were talking about yesterday. Yesterday, I uh the link is right here if you want to step in and chat and talk about some things. Oh, uh, what's up? Toto, what up, brother? How you doing? My brother from Georgia. Hey, hey, click on that link right there. Stream your link if you want to just step in the chat and talk. Uncle Steve. Hey, hey, man. Look, man. Uncle Steve, that right there, Uncle Steve. Man, I'm being honest with you, Uncle Steve, man. Them briskets yesterday was amazing with that, that Uncle Steve competition cow powder. And the and man, pork butts, I use Uncle Steve's shake on all the meat I served yesterday. And people was like, man, people was like amazed about how good the uh, pork butt was. So Uncle Steve's shake, man, y'all go over there. Oh, Uncle Steve, you go ahead and post that. Go ahead and post your link right there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and post. I should have had that already ready. But I'm going to post. Uncle Steve's uh, Uncle Steve Shake in the link below. I'm telling you what, man. Uh, I use that and whoa, I'm telling you right now. 
What's up, brother? How you doing? How you doing today, brother? Mm-hmm. The Urban Culture Kitchen. What's up, brother? How you doing today? Man, it's good to see you, man. Right there, Uncle Steve Shake. Red. Oh, I gotta get it right there. Right there. Yes. Go over there, click on that man. Hey, hey, hey that, that competition cow powder, man. It goes good on everything. Ask me how I know. Check out my video, guys, and the proofs in the pudding. The reviews were amazing. Go to my YouTube page. Check out the reviews, man. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it was amazing, guys. But, yeah. So, man, I'm in a battle, guys. I, it, 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 I, actually, I'm getting blew out right now. Well, that's okay. But I'm coming here, guys, for my – if y'all got support right now. It's good to see you, too, brother. Good to see you, too. Man, I'm asking for y'all guys' support in this in, the, in this uh, important battle right here, guys. I need all the support I can get because, man, I'm going up against a beast. Man, that bird was a beast, man. He, man, oh, my goodness. That sauce he made, I, I ate, and the fries. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if they can stack up to – I got to give him kudos. Him and Rick, everybody got to give kudos on that uh, – competition man they did an awesome job but i'm gonna put the link right here if anybody want to jump in i'm gonna put the link right here the link for the chat is in the chat right now here's the link what's up how you doing mr scott oh mrs scott how you doing today tawana scott how you doing what's good t nothing much just chilling girl just chilling but yeah so uh, if you want to click on the link and just have a little chat, man, yesterday went pretty good. We had a guy come in. So let me tell you about how, how did my week go, okay? So um, Uncle Steve, yeah, I'm going to – oh, look, if you mention T when you order it, he's going to throw something in extra. Look, guys, go over to Uncle Steve's shake. And mention me, he gonna throw you a little something, something, something. Hey, 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 I love that, Uncle Steve. Look, man, come on, man. We got 19 people in here. If you go over and you mention your boy T, when you order your Uncle Steve shake, he gonna throw you a little something extra, guys. Come on, man, really? Thank you, Uncle Steve. Mention your boy T and get you something extra. And man, I'm telling you, what I'm gonna see give you extra, it, 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 it is a big bonus. Whether he give you the dessert shake, whether he give you uh that smoke bomb, oh Uncle Steve, I think I missed it with that smoke bomb. That, that that smoke bomb off the chain, Uncle Steve. Oh my goodness. Man, it is out the chain, it's off the chain. Yes, it is, it is off the chain. Man, look, if anybody want to jump in, click on the link, StreamYard and .com, and you go over here and chat with your boy TNT if you want to talk about what's going on, man. Those burgers were amazing. I'm telling you what, man. Uh, uh, the burger competition was amazing, but I'm just going to explain my burger to you guys. I use the trimming, leftover trimming, all those briskets. That's why I made so many burgers. And, and I ground them up, man. And, and I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you, man. That bird ate like a well steak. It, it, it ate like a great steak. Man, it was amazing. I'm telling you what, man. I, I, I am just so happy. Man, I tell you what, to be in this competition, and I'm telling you what, guys, I need to support all my YouTube brothers and sisters out there. I'm telling you, I'm in for a battle, a battle royal. Oh. Hey, 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 amen, brother. Amen. A amen. Amen. Uncle Steve Shake, but it it'll take you places. It'll take you places. Amen. It'll take your places. It will. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. You know, and I'm not taking nothing from a boy, uh, uh, Greg, because his burger was amazing. It was over the top. I wish I could be there to eat it, man. But I believe you got to vote for your boy TNT because my burger, man, it it was just it was just so imani with that. It was simple, but it was simple in a great way. It was just a great burger. It it had a little bacon, it had a little egg on it, it had lettuce, tomato, and onions. It didn't need mayonnaise because it was just the the flavors was going on, man. And I did use a sweet Hawaiian roll. I should have mentioned that in the video, uh, uh, hamburger bun, but that, that's besides the fact. But, uh, man, my burger was amazing. But, uh, you know, I want y'all to go and vote for me. If you can, just go and hit that, that, that vote. But I really want to talk to somebody about barbecue. You know, I, I, I'm just going to be honest with you, man. Right now, I'm sitting here. I just uh, had to go into work. We had an unfortunate situation, not with one of my fellow co-workers, but with a good, uh, I would say he was a friend of mine. Uh, he worked and he, and he, and he, and he got, um, he was an officer and, and, he, and he, he got shot and he's, he passed away. So we was down there when it was bringing his body uh, from the uh, medical examiner today. So that was a very sad note. So uh, barbecue cheers me up along with my family and my friends. And it was, it was such a, um, it was, it was a surreal situation that went on. Uh, so yeah, so I just, you know, this is my coping mechanism. Barbecue is barbecue can bring me up, you know, because I, I love barbecue, but yeah, I, I, it's a surreal situation. This man has, he had twenty some years at the Iowa State Trooper, and he and 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 some idiot uh, shot him with a shotgun, and he was just doing his job. So uh, I just want to tell you what 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 has been going on with me. So so th that what's been going on with me, but um, so I don't know why I brought that up, but that's where I was at. So I'm back. Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful outcome. We had so many different law enforcement agencies represented uh, for him and his family and support. But his support going to be in the long run. I pray for healing uh, for that family. But uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I'm just going to go. Um, yeah. So I want somebody to stop in the chat and I want somebody to come on in and I want them to to go ahead and uh, click on the link and I want you to click on the link uh, stream yard and I want you to come in and chat with your boy TNT. Tell me what you think about Saturday. Now Saturday was a cook for the ages, man. I tell you what, those uh, barnyard sliders he was a hit. You get a pool chicken slider, a pool pork slider, and you got a brisket slider. Barnyard. You get the cow, the chicken, and the hog, and the pig. You got three sliders. You get your beans and potato salad. And, you, and if you look at those videos, man, there was there was sliders, but they they, they, they was massive. And, and you know one thing about TNT, uh. What we did was, um, thank you, thank you, uh, D. Scott. I appreciate it. Yep, yep. But pray for their family. Pay for the troopers' family. Jimmy Smith. Pray for his family. Pray for their family. Yep, yep, yep. But uh, uh, yes. So, uh, Elder brisket nachos, man. Them brisket nachos were amazing. They were hit yesterday. Everybody loved the brisket nachos, but everybody wanted the dynamite nachos. See, it's, it's, it's the it's the pulled chicken nachos. It's the longhorn nachos, longhorn, you know, cow. And then it's the uh, dynamite nachos, the pulled pork. 
And you got the chicken nachos. I got to make a name for the chicken nachos. But yes, so all that was a hit. But the thing people loved was the slider combo, and they did love the brisket nachos. Man, we served, we, we served some good food yesterday. It was all fire. If you can look at the videos, man, you know we, we was bringing the heat. We were bringing the heat yesterday. We were. So, yes. And, and, and let me tell you what goes on my um, – uh, right there. Okay, I'm going to post this again, okay? You click on this link right here below. You go vote. Right, That's how you vote right there. That, that's enough of this campaign. Let, let me get to my fans. Let me get to talking to, about what I love. That's barbecue. I, I You know, I ain't going to lie to you. I love to vote. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. Uh, Where we're smoking mountain, but that's a bad man, my jam. Thank you, Ms. Thank you, um, uh, D. Scott. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yes. 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 I appreciate it. But let. Oh, what? Okay. Okay, I will. I will make a. Uh, uh, I will make a grilling video. Yes, I will. What grill do you want me to use? Bass Finder. What grill do you want me to use, Bass Finder? I got a. I got a Weber, Keller grill. I got a uh, a Weber Smoky Mountain, which. I can turn it into a grill. I, I got so many different grills. What do you want me to use so we can be successful? Let me know, Bass Finder. What grill do you want me to use? I'm talking to you, sir, to make that chicken video because I try to get that done as soon as possible. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Mr. Bass Fine, I'm gonna go to Walmart or Dollar Store and buy me a cheap, cheap grill. Something cheaper than a Weber Smoky Mountain. I'm gonna try to spend between 35 and 40 bucks. And I'm gonna do uh and uh okay, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a Walmart, the, the blue Walmart square type grill. Yes, yes, that's what I was thinking. The one that the legs fold up, the one they have like this. I'm gonna buy one of those and I'm gonna show my butt on it. I'm gonna do uh, some uh, some hind quarters. I'm gonna do some whole chickens. I'm gonna do some steak cooks. Yes, hey, hey, hey! I I make it. I promise, sir. I will get that done. No, well, thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, you guys. Bass Finder uh, sixty eight told me he want me to do. He said he want me to go. Uh, he want me to go and, and get a Walmart grill, the one with the legs fold up. I know the exact one. He's talking about the blue ones. And he want me to do a, a chicken grilling video on, on on something that like that. And you're right, I need to, and I'm gonna do one. So uh, Bass Finder sixty eight, I need you to go vote. That's what I need you to do. <laughs> I need you to go vote. <laughs> you heard me, Bass Finder. I need you to go vote. Did you vote yet? Did you rock the vote yet? Hey, did you rock the vote yet, or did you not rock the vote? Yeah, you gotta rock the vote, Bass Finder. I would do it, but but I would do it no matter what. But you got the vote, where right up? Just where you vote at? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, 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 hey. What they call that pork belly? When you do something for somebody, they vote for you. Or, or they, you, you make a bill for them. So you vote, you get me elected, I make a bill for you. <laughs> yeah, but no matter where, win, lose, or draw, Bass Finder, I'm going to get that video, brother. I'm going to get that video done. You know what? I wanted to do that Saturday. But what happened? The weather didn't cooperate. It started raining like crazy. But you're right. I'm gonna do a full day in the barbecue trailer, man. It's just that, man, man. People be acting a fool in that barbecue trailer, guys. Hey, I'm gonna do a full day video. I'm just gonna let the. the I'm just gonna put my phone, make sure it's charged, 
and put my tripod out there. We're gonna do a full day. We're gonna call it the TNT experience. And we just gonna let whatever happens, happens. You know, but uh 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 kind of unedited, just 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 let it happen. You you know, I, I I'm gonna do that. No, you can't vote no more than one time, but look at everybody video, Scott. Look at everybody video, guys. Look at everybody video. Yes. Hey, but I put anything on it, Bass Finder. Anything, thank you, Bass Finder. Anything, anything, I put anything on it, bro, and I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm going to make that chicken. Yes, I do put butter on my ribs. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Can somebody find that, that link for me for that Walmart grills? Uh, one vote per uh, YouTube account. Yes. Can somebody please go and find a link for me and put it in the chat about, uh, thank you, about Walmart grill? Because I, I really want to uh, get that, the, the Pacific, so Bass Finder, what you need to do is go uh, Google that Walmart grill, copy the link and put it in the chat because I want to make sure that me and you are on the same page because I, I don't want to get the grill. You be like, nah, that's not the one I'm talking about, T. But if I'm not mistaken, it's the rainbow sauce if I'm not mistaken, it's it's the one that uh stands up, the one that um uh, the one legs fold in. It's a box kind, but I want to make sure that, that me and Bass Fire is on the same page. Cause I, I'm gonna go get the grill. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna do what I can do. I'm gonna be using charcoal grill. I'm getting the charcoal Walmart box grill, the one that costs like thirty two dollars, twenty eight dollars, I think. Uh. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, guy, I gotta call a take. I'm mute for a second, please. I need somebody. All right, I'm just gonna hit mute for a second, okay? I'm sorry, guy. I had to take that call. That was a uh... unknown caller. I'm sorry, guy. I had to take that call. That was an important call. Uh, like I say, you know, I work full time. But yes, so yes, so that, that that's why I would love for y'all guys to do if you can. Uh, what was talking? Yeah, Walmart grill. Yeah, so the Walmart grill is gonna be the blue one. Box square grill. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna do a real cook. I'm gonna do a chicken cook, and I'm gonna do a brisket cook on that grill. Rib, chicken, brisket. Anything else that I'm missing, guys? Rib, chicken, brisket, and pork butt. I got to do a pork butt cook. So I'm gonna do a, a rib cook. I'm gonna do a chicken cook. I'm gonna do a brisket cook, and I'm gonna do a pork butt cook. Yes, I'm gonna do all those cooks on that Walmart grill, and uh, I hope y'all. Uh, I'll be using charcoal. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But I'll, I'll be using charcoal, guys. I'll be using charcoal. I'll be using um, a little bit of wood chunks and charcoal. I'm going to be cooking direct, indirect, and I'm going to do a steak. I'm going to try to do a whole series of those grills because I want to prove to y'all guys that it's not the grills. It's not the reverse flows. It's not the 
It's TNT, man. And I'm telling you, you get amazing food off of grills. How do you think I started, man? I started by using those type of grills. So, yeah, that's how I started, man. I'm telling you. Uh, but if you want to jump in to chat, anybody, I'm out here begging. Mm -hmm. The link right here, jump on in. And remember, if you mention TNT Barbecue, Uncle Steve is going to give you a, uh, something extra. So if you go over and you mention TNT Barbecue, Uncle Steve is going to give you something, throw in something extra. Guys, you got to do it. Man, Uncle Steve, I appreciate you supporting TNT, guys. I appreciate Uncle Steve supporting TNT. So go over Uncle Steve and, and go and check out Uncle Steve uh, page. I'm going to uh, copy his link right here and put it in the chat, guys. Uncle Steve said he's going to give you something extra if you mention your boy TNT Barbecue. So right there, boom. Click on that link, Uncle Steve right there. And uh, right there, Uncle Steve Shake right there. You get something extra. Just mention my name. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And you see, he went over, Backyard Smoke went over and voted. And that's what you should do. But before you do that, Backyard Smoker, I appreciate your vote. But did you see Greg's video? Oh, dude. Dude did it the Those are on them burgers, man. I was showing my family. They were like, Daddy. Uh, my kids were like, Daddy, I don't know about this, Daddy. That was my kids were saying, Dad, I don't know about this. I said, well, what do you mean you don't know about this? My kids were like, Dad, that burger looks amazing. That 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 that, uh, that behind the garage, uh, uh, Greg's, uh, when that Greg done, I was like, yeah. I said, yeah, son. But you know, uh, you know, Greg did something amazing, man. And the fries, you know, and all that, man. It was, it, it was, it was, it man, it, man, it was dope, yeah. Man, it was it it was it was it was it was spot on, man. Yeah, Greg did a good job, man. Yes, he did. Yes, yes, he did. But, 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 and but, you need to vote for T and T because T laid it out there. And I'm telling you, if you start mixing the ice water with that uh that that Lipton uh I think it's it's Lipton uh. Soup mix, onion soup mix. You mix that into your ground beef and make your hamburger patties with some ice water. Man, you will be with water. I'm, t man, I'm just telling you. Amen, brothers and sisters. You just mix it. You do, you do what I say. Do you will your tongue and your mouth will thank you. Your stomach will be happy because I'm out here. I'm doing recipes that that that, that works. I'm telling you. You gonna get, uh, man. You can, man. I'm serious. It, it is bad, bro. That was a that was a good burger, man. That, that I'm just telling you, it was a great burger, man. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So um, other than that, though, but yeah, like like I said, Saturday went pretty good, man. I, I really, I really, I am cooking too many sausages, though. I think I'm cooking too many sausages. Yes, the egg was good. Yes, it was. It got kind of cold and stiffened up on me because when you shoot video, it's hard to it's hard to do it the right way, you know, where what the egg just hot off the frying pan. But man, that's okay. How do I vote? You vote right here. Let me show you right here. So right here, this is how you vote. Right here, I'm putting a link in the chat. Okay. So you click on this link right here. This link should, this link right there, that should take you to Smoking Joe Pitt's community page. You click on that, you'll go down, you'll see uh, the people that competed, you'll see Smoking Joe, Mom and Pops, all them different barbecue guys. You look at their videos, vote for which one you like. And then you'll see TNT, and I'm going against uh, Greg from 
uh, Behind the Garage Barbecue, check his video out. Man, you'll be like, you know, you may vote for Greg, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, but I'm fighting because that's what I do. I'm not going to sit here and just take a whip and I'm going to try to throw something back. I'm going to try to fight back. I'm going to try to hit him with a counter. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to counter right now. Because right now he's jabbing the mess out of me. But, <laughs> okay. What's up? All right. I'm going to bring a, a guest in, guys. And we're going to talk about this. You ready, brother? Okay, he's ready. Bring him in. How you doing today, sir? Oh, you're muted. Oh, it says your mic. Let me see. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. You got you got any earbuds or anything of that nature? I'm not. Hey, put ones in the chat if you if you can hear. Please, I want to talk to you. Please, <laughs> I can hear you now. Gotcha. Yeah, I had it on another speaker. Okay. What's going on, partner? Not much, man. Just Watch out here, man. Bit, 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 uh, bit busy, man. It's been a busy, busy day. I've been catering nonstop, working full time job. And we had a big cook Saturday to get ready for, I mean, Friday to get ready for Saturday. We cooked uh, uh, six briskets. We cooked uh, 10 pork butts. We, we cooked uh, 70 pounds of chicken and pulled it. And we got about 40, 40 pounds of pulled chicken. We got the pulled chicken done. We, uh, uh, we, it was only breast though. So, so we did white meat, pulled chicken, and it was juicy, man. It was, man, amazing. My pulled chicken recipe is amazing. And I absolutely, I was at, at a, a guy that reached out for me from YouTube, Kevin. And he said, T, I want to come down and, uh, I'm thinking about starting a barbecue business about, a, about an hour and a half away from me. And he said, I want to learn the, the ins and outs, you know, some more. So I said, well, the best way for me to teach is to come here. So he came here. We sat down. We chopped it up. And we went to work. And he learned a lot. He learned about the customer service part of it, the business aspect of it. So, And, and then he, he got to see things. And he, he got to see the animal of a beast for us, how we serve, how we put our orders together, things like that. I'm here to share the experience, man. That's what I'm about, you know. Yeah. I'm, see, I saw that pitch you got, you know, that a big a rotisserie run. I've been looking into it. The company I saw them uh, uh, um, feature you on a uh, on the Instagram, you know. Oh, what they did. Yeah, oh, Harlan Cookers. Yeah, so, yeah. See, I'm here in Houston, Texas, so I, you know, I got a catering business myself, but I cater all types, but. Barbecue was always my love, you know, so that's how, that's how I got, you know, you know, got pretty much watching y'all, you know, doing it because I, you know, I have my, you know, I have my own little cooking thing going down. But yeah, boy, you was getting down on that burger, man. I was, I see, I see your white competition potato salad. I'm like, oh, <laughs> hey, hey look, you know, it, uh, but one thing about um this barbecue thing is that uh. I was trying to what I was trying to explain to him is you have to be you're only better than your last catering event and your last sandwich. So you have to really have that uh, zero tolerance when it comes to uh, putting anything out your trailer that's not up to your standards. Right. Zero tolerance. It, it make it pass. But you, you can't let it pass. So uh, I think I just I I, I, um, I kind of demonstrated that to him the way I was so anal about everything and doing everything when we were in the trailer. Cause I went from being this tea to being a different kind of tea when we got in the trailer because 
I want it right. And you know how it is when it comes to catering. Oh yeah. Oh you yeah. Know, it took me. It took me. It took me. I think twenty times to master a brisket and pool pork. It, it, you gotta. You gotta know what you're doing because it'd be overcooked. You know what I'm saying? Or too undercooked. Yes. You know yes. And so, so you know, everybody got their methods and stuff like that. You just gotta know that. You know what I'm saying? That customer wants you back. So if if, if you you mess up the first time, that's that's gonna be your last time, bro. If anything like me, that's gonna be your last time. I'm just saying, <laughs> barbecue costs too much money for you to be throwing it out there and throwing it away. I'm just saying it, it does, man. Okay. I done brought, I done went in a store, in a barbecue store. I ain't gonna call it a barbecue store name. I'm just put it, it was in Memphis, okay? And I spent my own money. I did my own little research, my internship. I drove to Memphis. Mm -hmm. I said, I got $1,000. And I stayed in the hotel room and I ate every day at different restaurants for lunch and dinner. And I was trying to find what makes this barbecue great. Right. And uh, I remember one particular restaurant, five star, every, great reviews. I went there, I ordered sampler, I ordered this, I ordered that. My bill came to $85. I got to the restaurant, I mean, I took but to the hotel room, start eating the food. Guess what I was start doing? I started burping. It was that steam table food that sat on top of each other, and it got that you got that uh the fat rendering from other meats on top of it. You know what I'm talking about. And, 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 and you know I learned I learned something better from that experience than I learned from anything else. I learned what not to do. Right. That's always the key. So, so sometimes learning what to do is okay, but the best sometimes is learning what not to do. Right. Yeah. Because so, once you make that mistake, you better not make it again. Because I mean, if you don't learn from that, you you ain't gonna never learn. Amen. Amen. I got somebody asking me where's my uncle said he'll be in about three weeks. <laughs> I just said yeah. I'm gonna say it'll be in three weeks. Yeah, see, we have three weeks. <laughs> yeah, man. I just did a brisket uh the other day. I did some burnt ends. I ain't put up the video yet, but I will. But uh yeah, you know, I, I never really made burnt ends. It wasn't okay. nothing wrong with it. I, you know, I mean, when you catering, ain't nobody really interested in burnt ends. They just want you to slice it up, get it ready for the party, you know. But I, I did it yeah. for myself. You know, uh -huh. so I think I impressed myself on it because I, you know, uh, my wife is Caribbean, so I okay. used a little Caribbean spice on it. Oh man, it was off the hook. Oh man, you know what? And, and I, one thing I like about the Caribbean stuff is very clean tasting, right? And, and I love that on on poultry. I love it on poultry and pork. For mm -hmm. some reason, that pork and that poultry. It's good on on that type of stuff, but I gotta try it on brisket. When well, you say Caribbean, yeah, the Bahamians or the Bahamas or jerk, Twitter, Jamaican, Jamaican. Okay, hey man, woo, oh yeah, I, I get out on that jerk chicken, boy. You know, said I that's one of my number one hits. You know, you got saying? a video? Oh uh, yeah, I have a video of it. Um, but I um. It's an older video, but I'm actually have to come out with a new one. I have it posted up, you know. Okay, well, I'm gonna check, hey, hey, y'all go over and tell us about your channel. Let us know about you, brother. Let us know about you and what you're doing in your channel. Oh well, you know, so my channel is called the Urban Culture Kitchen because yeah. I cook all types of culture foods and stuff like that. Because of our cater, I don't carry it to one type of, you know, say culture. I cater to everybody, but my mm -hmm. number one love is barbecue. You know, saying I cook a lot of Caribbean because my wife, you know, says for the Caribbean. So we do a lot of different spices and stuff like that. So, you know, mine, you might find, you know, Italian, you know, saying American, you know, say Western type food. You might find anything on my channel, you know, saying I'm, 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 I'm into the back into 
the desserts. But I started out in, in culinary school as a baker, you know. But I didn't. In later in life, I didn't finish that. I didn't. I didn't go into baking. I went into cooking, you know, full on. So you know. Uh, but I start start doing baking again. But my main love is. You know, said Caribbean. You know, said soul food, Cajun food. You know, said any kind, of, any kind of food. I'm really not particular. You know, what I'm saying, but, but I, you know, I get down there and barbecue. You know, my dad is the one that actually got me into barbecue. He had a little secret sauce. He never handed down to me, and I was like, man, what you got in the refrigerator? So I finally find out what he threw up in there, and uh, shoot, I've been doing my thing ever since. You know, I made it my own. You know, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that's. What my channel so you might see a little bit of this a little bit of that and stuff like that of all different types you know i use sometimes the indoor grill i use the outdoor grill and right now i'm building my outdoor um kitchen because i'm about to, you know i'm getting my outdoor i just laid some uh concrete down to put out the outdoor kitchen because i'm about to do wow. uh, get my smoker and everything set up i talked to rick you know uh the other day i mean i didn't talk to rick i told him i was doing it so I didn't know he had worked for a barbecue spot, but uh, I'm gonna have to check out see what they got going on. But that pitch you got, man, I, I looked into that pit, man. I really like that rotisserie pitch you got. Now let me tell you something. Color, the color you get on ribs, and the color you get on chicken, man. That thing, man. Believe it or not, I did pork loins on there. Man, you get the same color you get on ribs and chicken. It is amazing. I'm telling you what. Um, I believe uh, 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 what I do, I'm going to try to do a brisket on I haven't did a brisket on yet, but it, it cooks fast. Mad wood? Sir? No, I was saying, I appreciate that Mad Wood. I was talking oh, yeah, about Mad Yeah, Sorry man. Man, Mad Wood. He's Iowa. He's from Iowa. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he an Iowa guy, man. Us Iowa guys got to hook up, man. But, but, man, uh, Slick Will, what's up, brother? How you doing? But yeah, but that rotisserie grill, the uh-huh. fire don't even go. The fire cannot go in that cavity. I, bro, I had five cases of, of chicken quarters, and I went right. to two buckets. Two buckets about this big. The, the little buckets you get from Dollar Tree. You know those? Yeah. I, don't know, I think they're about two and a half gallon buckets. I went through two of those with the grease drippings coming from the back of that smoker off that rotisserie grill. If it was going to catch a fire, it would have caught a fire then. It, 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 it rid of that chicken skin down. What that means, I was getting so much juices off it, and then I was mopping it with with, with, with lard, with lard and vinegar, my mop sauce. I'm mopping it. I'm putting more lard and stuff on there. More fat, more fat on it. <laughs> more fat on it for the skin to just render down. Yeah, bro. When I was taking the chicken out, man, the chicken falling apart. The chicken just—I mean, it was so tender and moist and juicy. People yeah. asking me. Did you did you did you cook this in the oven? Tell the truth. Did you cook this in the oven? I said no, no. I like I like that heat that's in the back. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. when it when it rotate, I was I was watching it. You know what I'm saying? It passed that heat up, but it never touched that meat. That's what yep. I like. And, and, and then what you do then? Uh, cause what happened was I cooked five cases of chicken quarters. And then, and then, uh, some people wanted some other stuff. I found out that, oh man, we got a couple more hundred people coming. So me and my uncle went and got another case and put on there. I stopped the rotisserie up top by the stacks and just closed the door down. Oh, and man. I kid you not, that chicken was done. Pretty golden brown, crispy skin. In under an hour. Wow, nah, that's good because that, that's that, that timing you need it. Yes, yes. And the, but, but the, the thing that I tell you is when you use one of rotisserie grills, to me, you have to stay away from sweet. Okay, sweet. Okay. Because the sugar will caramelize. Because you can keep it at that 250, 260, 270. 
But that rotisserie runs the best at 300 to 380. Okay, so it, it'll caramelize the racks. That's what you said. Yeah, but it also caramelized the, the, the pro- protein too. Oh, okay, I got you, got you. Yeah, yeah, it'll turn it, it'll turn, it'll, it'll get that mahogany brown color, but then it could go farther because me, I like my chicken off. My if I do chicken quarters, they come off at 175. I ain't playing with that chicken. You know, I'm overcooked by chicken quarters. If I'm doing uh I got a video of me doing whole chickens. Okay. Um, you seen that video of me and Uncle said doing the whole chickens? No, I didn't whole see chickens, I may uh take them off at 165 because they're whole chicken. But my right, chicken right. quarters, I'm going to 170, 175. But yeah, it's all about rendering that skin, getting it golden brown and crispy. And to me, it just you need more of a uh, a savory season when you're dealing with that that chicken. I, it's just me. If you want sweet, add barbecue sauce to it to make it sweet. Now, now I'm gonna ask you with that pit. You know, what I'm saying how much meat can you put up on there? Put on there. Seven hundred pounds. Oh man, that that. Oh, that's, Joe, what up, what up brother Joe? <laughs> Seven hundred pounds. I see y'all getting down on that competition, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? So I- look, man, look, man. I ain't trying to say that, man. Rick, Rick swung for the fences. Oh, uh, not Rick. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, Rick did too. But uh, 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 Greg, Greg swung for the fences, man. Gr- gr- Greg tried to hit me with a one hit quitter, man. I ain't I'm a boy, Greg, Greg, man. Greg hey, getting down too. Yeah, he does. But guess what? I'm counting right now. I'm counting. I ain't finna take a lot. I ain't look, look, look. That's right. Look, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to drag him into these into these uh into the fifth and sixth round, seventh round. If I can work the body, I'm trying to work the body right now. Cause, cause, you know, cause right now he didn't he he didn't, he didn't drop me one time. I had to get up. <laughs> this morning, this morning when it was when it, when it was like uh. 70 some percent to 20 some percent, 23 percent. He hit me with a knockout blow. I'm like, oh Lord Jesus. I, said, yeah, I, I saw the numbers. I, said, yeah, I, got to get up. I got to fight. I ain't I ain't finna let him, I ain't finna let him do me like that. <laughs> well, see, I seen CJ is at a tie. I think it's 50 50 or something. Hey, he hey man. Your, your boy CJ though, man, them, them videos beast, man. Did you see Mama and Papa Joe and Joe? See, Joe came out swinging. He he got the wide goo. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, he got the wide goo. Oh, uh, ribeye, bone in. Papa Joe came out swinging. Man, look. <laughs> Papa Joe had, I don't know, he had a potato on the side. <laughs> a potato on the side. You see, you see, Mo. Look, man, I ain't, I'm looking at both of their videos. I'm looking at Joe and Papa Joe video, CJ video. And I'm seriously, right now, I ain't going to say who I'm voting for, but I'm scared. It's like, I don't, I'm sorry. Man, they, they didn't put a tie. Put it in the middle. Yeah, so. I'm so scared. <laughs> I mean, it's so many heavy hitters. I'm looking at all their videos, yeah. man. I'm like, I was telling my wife, my wife, like, why are you looking like this, baby? So you like you about to have anxiety type? I said, baby, cause I, I love all the YouTube channels, honey. I I don't know who I want to vote for. I don't I know. know. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Hey, hey, but check this out. I was showing my kids. We were up just morning. I said, all right, kids, this is who Daddy going through. Right. So when, when when Greg's video came up, cause I put it on the big screen TV. I heard my son. He was like. Dang, Daddy. I think he got you. I said, shut up, boy. Quit that. What's wrong with me? What's wrong, Greg, man? man? What's wrong, Greg, man? Man, how you gonna have my kid talking like that? He come with the music. The bird just bouncing in the middle. Like, oh, man. <laughs> you almost got my son jumped, though. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, hey, they put they put him out the dog out. Put him out. <laughs> yeah, hey, get, get go. <laughs> right. 
No, yeah, but I, I mean, I like the competition, man. It was it really a good competition, man. It is. Uh, a lot of good cooks out here from all backgrounds. You know, saying coming together. You know, what I'm saying to come up with some great dishes and stuff like man, that. You, you know, know what I'm saying. And, and the thing about it, though, man, is like these pit masters, man, James, Joe, uh, 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 uh grill sergeant, uh, man, uh, Texas cuisine, doggone. You go back to Rick's uh, beef rib video. You go back to. Man, I, I remember Grill Sergeant, he did a brisket. All of us wanted brisket. Joe was like, I know, I, 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 no disrespect, Joe. No disrespect, Brother Joe, okay? But I'm going to say this right here, Brother Joe, and take this as a compliment. I knew the competition wasn't rigged. You know why? First of all, Joe a good guy. He wouldn't do that, okay? But the second reason why? Because Joe ain't draw brisket. If Joe would have draw brisket, I'm like, hell no. Because <laughs> Joe... Over. Hey, look, Grill Sergeant, that brisket he came out that time with, man, I was like, what? <laughs> I saw that brisket man, when he cut, I was like, man, he did it on a pallet grill, bro, I'm like, man, that's what's up. So this video is this this competition, man. I believe it is so good, man. And if if people ain't looking at it, they missing out. I think I'm at thirty eight thousand views for the competition. Wow. See, I, when I watched uh, Drill Sergeant, he the one got me. I didn't. I was against pellet grills, but when I saw his his video on the pellet grill when he hooked up that brisket, I I, I was gonna get. I, I was already sold on it because. You know, I, I was I had a certain feeling a certain way about brisket. I mean, about the pellet grills, but because I felt like, man, you know, that's cheap. But it ain't. It ain't. It's just another form of uh, grilling. You know Amen. I, I tell you what, I, I done cooked some great food on the pellet grill, man. I, you know, I, you know, I done cooked some great food. You, of course, you're not gonna get that, that that stick burner food, but I'd rather eat. All right, I'm going to say this now, and you tell me you agree. If you don't agree, let me know. I'd rather eat some great food off a pellet grill than some crappy food off a stick burner. Right. All day long. Yep. If, if, if your homeboy invite you over his house, and he's saying, I just got this new offset smoker. Uh, I never had one before. You want to come in my house? I'm going to be like, nah, I got something to do. You need to make me sick. You even have me burping up smoke for three weeks. I, I, I ain't coming over. Now, if you say, oh, man, I just got this new pellet grill. You want to come over, T? I'll come over your house. Right, I'll right, eat right. some food. Because I know that pellet grill, you ain't finna, you ain't finna tear it up. You yeah. know, you want to overcook your ribs. You may do a three, two, one, have a fall the bone ribs, but I'm okay with that. But you ain't finna... <laughs> You even make my acid reflect act a fool because you want to get on a stick burner. You don't watch five YouTube videos. Now you want to go buy a stick burner and, and, and mess up my acid reflex because you want to throw 10 splits into the firebox and burn the paint off the uh, Oklahoma Joe and burn the paint off of it and then yeah. throw, throw a brisket on there and tell me it's good. And I'm sitting there. I ain't gonna lie to you. You ain't finna mess with my ass and reflex disease. Yeah, nah, nah. Mm. Yeah. I rather, I look, I'd rather go to McDonald's now. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Not not T. No. Nope. So 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 with that, understand that now, because you got a lot of guys out there. It's <laughs> just an amen to that, brother T. <laughs> uh, uh. Joe no. <laughs> yep. Look, bro, kid you not, I had a buddy of mine. Hey, I'm not talking about my buddies now. So so don't be thinking I'm talking about y'all. Because I know a lot of people invite me over for barbecue. I ain't talking about buddies that invite me over now. So let me get out of the way. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. But I had a buddy 10 years ago, okay? He got, he got, a, he got a, a stick burner. And he told me, to come to his house, he, he will cook me and my wife some food. Right. Me and my wife came over. And she got to know my wife. 
she is she is the most respectable person and gentle and kind to everybody feelings bro my wife got the food bro she chewed the food the dude now looking at us right here how's the food my wife like <laughs> and then got a cup and then like, <laughs> she had to go get that kale pate <laughs> my wife say baby i'm sorry but he ain't finna make me sick he ain't finna make me sick. <laughs> hey, I said, man, why you act like that, honey? She said, why you eat none? I said, I saw what you did. I saw what you right. did. You know, he told me, nah, it's okay, T. You don't got to get done. It's okay. I said, you're right. You're right. <laughs> okay, have everybody barbecue. You got to see some credentials first. I ain't got to make sure. <laughs> All barbecue is not equal, bro. No, All no. barbecue ain't equal. No, you got the same as that grill. Hey, I'm going to Walmart, and I'm gonna buy one of the little, you know, the little blue, the little blue, little, little smokers you get for like thirty dollars, twenty five dollars. Yep. I'm gonna cook a rib, pork butt on that. I'm gonna cook some brisket on that. Chicken. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna do a chicken video. I'm probably gonna do uh half chickens on. And my point is what I'm going to show. Uh, I think it was Bass Finder 68 or Bass Finder. I forgot his name. Bass Finder, I think it was. But I want to make sure I show him that it's not the pit. It's the pit yeah. master. Yeah, I got one of those. If I, if I want to do something small, a small little meal or something like that for the house, yeah. oh, I'll get down on that. I mean, you know, so that's a go to sometimes if you want to. Take it to the beach or some, or do a little something real quick. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's all about the person. Amen. I, I actually I got videos with that same little blue smoker my father-in-law gave me, but it was like upgraded just a little bit. It was the same little blue smoker. This was just a little upgraded, and that was my older videos. So I want to return and do a series of videos using that Walmart smoker. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I might have to jump on it with you because. I got, I got, I got one. I might okay. Have to, you might do some collaboration. Do you might do some real collaboration, some brisket and chicken. Cause my thing, I want to do everything on that smoker. Cause I really want to show people that it's not the smoker. It's the right. pit masters. It's, a, it's, a, it's us cooks. It's, it's what we do. Yep. It's all about how you line. If you're doing charcoal, it's got how you line it up. You know what I'm saying? It's all about you know. It's just. How you how you temperature it? How you open it up? It just depends on if you know what you're doing. You know, it, it, you can you can throw meat on there; it can mm -hmm. burn. But you know, what I'm saying <laughs> don't get it taste good. Amen. Hey, 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 hey! Consider the burnt sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, consider the burnt sacrifice. So, what's your favorite thing to cook now? Oh, uh, for me, it's jerk chicken. I get on jerk chicken and jerk pork. You know, I could cook almost like I said anything, but those are my go-to. Them my customers like is a lot of the Caribbean food. I do ribs. I do a lot of ribs, a lot. You know, that was my dad thing. He do any type of ribs. You know what I'm saying? So I get down on the ribs. But uh, if, if we talking about grilling, you know what I'm saying? That's what I get down on it's between any type of chicken. It don't matter whole. You know what I'm saying? Quarters. You know, uh, boneless stuff wrapped, whatever it is. You know, what I'm saying I get out on it. You know, but uh, as far as barbecue, I can cook any kind of meat. You know, what I'm saying okay. fish. Let's talk business for a second, okay? All right. So we talk about ribs. I look at ribs as a draw. Prime example: when I have my rib fest, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I really, realistic, all my body will let me do is 85 to 100 slabs of ribs. That's because so much labor goes into my ribs when I cook ribs. Yeah. They're very labor intensive for me. So when I cook ribs, I sell, you know, if I'm at a rib fest, I give deals because it's a rib fest. But I, 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 the point I'm trying to say is ribs to me is not a big money making thing. 
So once you put your seasoning, your thyme, all that kind of stuff. So how I sell my ribs to make money is I buy my spare ribs, okay? Y'all listen to this now. I'm going to give you something. I buy my spare ribs, okay? I cut the tip off. Okay, so I got my rib tip. That's one item I sell separate, okay? Mm-hmm. And I like my half slab combos. So for $20, you get the ribbon special. I call it ribbon because it's rib and chicken. So my wife called the ribbon. And, and basically, ribbon would stand for domestic violence because my wife is a domestic violence advocate. Advocate. So you get the ribbon special. So basically what it is, is you get the half of ribs, the potato salad, the beans, and I put a piece of little foil over your plate and then you get the chicken, a chicken cord on top. So you get your chicken and your ribs for $20. Uh, and then you get the, uh, for another $20, you get the other slab of ribs, half slab of ribs. So that's $40. And then for 15 more dollars, you get the rib tips, a pound of rib tips, because that's what it about is, chopped up with a little foil over with the beans and potato salad with a chicken quarter. So I'm making $55 off a of slab of ribs by just adding chicken quarters to it. Right. And, and you know how reasonable chicken quarters are. Right. Yep. So my thing is, that's the only way I found out that I can make it worth my while cooking slabs of ribs. Because if I was to sell a slab of ribs for $25, if you get in a meaty uh, number one uh, uh, Swift, no, no, not Swift, but uh, um, Smithfield uh, spare ribs, the ones, uh, or the seaboards, the seaboards are the best. But if you get the Smithfield or the seaboard ribs, the big thick ones, you're probably paying red right thirteen dollars a slab, and then you right. get your seasons, your sauce, you put all that on there. By the time you look at it, you're in your whole slab fifteen, sixteen dollars, and all you're getting is eight, nine dollars back. It, it just ain't worth my time for eight, nine dollars. Yeah. So. If I could get that and, and make it into these these dinners, and now I'm getting fifty five dollars out of slab ribs, now it's worth my time selling ribs. So that's how I look at ribs. Yeah, because see what I do, what I do to ribs, like normally I get to like you said the spare ribs. Now you know I normally cut off the 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 uh, rib tips on the top. Now everybody mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying into the rib tips. So you know, uh, but you know. Uh, some people are that some customers are uh-huh. now, now I'll do I can sell a whole rib for twenty five dollars a whole rack of ribs they don't yeah. mind that but I, like you said it's all about the time and the effort and the energy the seasoning and the shot all that I have to take that into mm-hmm. consideration with the prices so, so we were just talking about this the other day you know what I'm saying that that well how do we make it worth our while it's, we're gonna make it worth day while because it's good ribs it's already mm-hmm. good. But how do we? How do I benefit from it? You know, what I'm saying at the end of the day, so I had to count the cost. So when I get the potato salad, the baked beans and stuff like that, I add it together, and I'm like, well, if I do a full meal of a rack of ribs, baked beans, you know, whole baked beans, and like you said, and a half. Now I do a half a chicken, you know, what I'm saying, and I sell it for fifty bucks. It's about this, like kind of similar how you doing uh, twenty twenty, mm-hmm. you know, on that, you know, what I'm saying and. Yeah. And I, I still get them to buy it the same exact way. So I get yeah. them a half a chicken, the whole the half a chicken, the whole rack of ribs, and you know, and two sides. And yeah. they don't mind the fifty dollars on 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 that. You know, mm-hmm. uh, so I, I see what you're saying. That's a good. That's a good way how you split it up to get to twenty. Because some people are spend twenty before they spend fifty. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. And and my goal is. I always tell me and my wife, we want to have the coldest drinks and the hottest food. So when people come to our uh, trailer, the first thing we ask them, hey, we have these drinks that have been super cold. Would you like to have a a, a, a soda with that? Hey, you know, and, 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 and not even that, uh, we, we always like to sell, man, 
Look, man, you sit to that thing. I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to make you go back in your wallet. I ain't lying. Hey, it was, you want to try to slide a combo? You know, go, hey, all day yesterday. Well, I only wanted to spend twenty five dollars. Now I'm spending sixty five. Now they done went from pulling out cash. You take credit card. Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 look, 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 I want to make you pull that plastic out. That's my goal. <laughs> and they don't, they, they don't mind. That's the thing. Oh. They don't mind. They know we're coming to the barbecue. They're not doing it. They don't have the skills to do it. They can learn, but by the time they yeah. learn, you ain't get the meal. You ain't got the meal. So, oh. you know, hey, they know we put, we put our heart and soul into that barbecue. That's hey, why man. they don't mind doing the money. You know what though? I tell you what though, I love um, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this to relate to what you just said. Like they don't mind. I love when I see people buy these big, nice, fancy smokers and stuff like that. Cause for number one, I know that I, I may be able to buy from myself. Yeah. That's the first thing. <laughs> the second thing is when they find out how hard it is, it makes my knowledge more. Because I've seen a lot of people go get smokers, spend $2,500, $4,500, $7,000, and get the big smokers, and then turn out some boo-boo. But what that does is that that brings attention to great barbecue. It does. It does. You know, so somebody downfall is always somebody upcoming. You know, I hate to say it that way. So, you know, it, it is, you know, it is what it is, you know. And, and uh, I'd have been in communities where I come in with my trailer and um, and people will say, oh, we got a barbecue place here and there. I come in and I throw that, that Southern explosive taste on them. And, and, and they'll say, oh my goodness. This is barbecue. It is exactly. I, man, we're not going to that place no more. I mean, it just is what it is. Hey, I'm making yeah. change mine. I, I, I'm, and, you that's know, and that's when you know you're putting out a good product, right? Because there was a spot like I'm, I'm originally from California. I live in oh, uh, yeah. Houston, Texas. You know what I'm saying? And in LA, they don't lot. They don't have a lot of good. And great barbecue spots. Now they may have some mm-hmm. and stuff like that, but it was one spot, man. I, I, I was like, okay, this is a good spot. See people going in. I go in. I'm like, I don't like eating everybody barbecue. I hardly eat anybody barbecue like that because it don't hit the spot. You know, just you know how it is when you eat, have your own barbecue. So I yeah. went in the spot, and, and, and I was like, okay, good. I'm gonna get the chicken. I'm gonna get the ribs. I'm gonna get a little bit of the brisket. Now this is California. You know what I'm saying? No smoke ring on the on the on the brisket. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I mean the chicken tastes like it was it was baked, like baked barbecue. You know, now I'm sitting there like okay, and 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 the ribs is tough. Now come on, I I mean like like I, I mean either I don't know what happened, but you know what I'm saying that was the last time we went there. You know, but but the thing is is. Not everybody know what they doing, and not every commercial store you walk into, you know what they doing. They just somebody told them it was good, so they feel like oh, I'm gonna make a business out of it. And to me, it sometimes deceives people that eat barbecue. They think this is good until they have the real thing, and they be like, they shocked, like, okay, I've been missing that. So all you doing is just giving me more business because. I'm pushing you out of that business, and I'm gonna be your long time, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, cook yeah. because you, you had bad barbecue and you didn't know it. Yeah, you, and that's what it is. And you know, a, a, a good a good rule to know: the white bones. You see them white bones off them ribs. You know the white bones I'm talking about, <laughs> bro. When you see white bones, you know that meat is boiled. When them bones look white, bro, when them bones look white, man, you ever been to a barbecue restaurant, man, they come out with them white bones, bro. Bones just meat white, the bones white, and they put sauce over it and throw it on a broiler. Yeah. And see, a lot of 
a lot of times it be the beef. They don't know how to do beef ribs. I always see that on a beef rib. That it, mm. You know, it shrink back and be jiggly and just be white and they throw sauce on to cover it up. And it still be tough at the end of the day. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> But 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 it's all about knowing what you're doing, man. Amen. And and, and that's what they're paying for the experience. But uh, one second, brother, just a brief talk. Hey, y'all go over here. Here's a channel to Joe's link right there. Go vote, vote. Watch everybody video over there. Though. Watch Joe and CJ, CJ and uh, who's CJ battling again? Um. C- Hey, home. I just got uh, it. Uh, it, it, it's Dead Road Barbecue, Texas style barbecue and cuisine, smoking Joe Pitts, mom and papa Joe, behind the garage barbecue and TNT. Hey, guys, we got we got we got to make up some ground, y'all. The gallery backyard barbecue, aim them and claim them. Woo, come on, man. Cook with CJ and Grill Sergeant, man. Cook with CJ and Grill Sergeant, man. Go over there, check them guys out. Check them out, man. Check them out. That's right, grill solid. That's right. Yeah, man. I tell you what, man. I tell you what, though. Come on. So when they pay you, they're not paying for just your cooking. They paying for your experience. They paying that you're not gonna come there and mess up their food and get somebody sick. They're paying for that that peace right. of mind. And that's why I tell people about their wedding. I, I you know, I do a lot of weddings. And, and, and I, I I always tell the bride and groom, I say, what you're paying for, what you're paying to me is you're paying for somebody that care. I'm not going to send people for me. You're going to see the owner. You're going to see TNT there slicing your meat. You're going to see TNT there fixing exactly. your stuff. You, I'm going to make sure stuff is ran right because I care. So you go to Famous Dave. Famous Dave's ain't there no more, is he? Fam- you go, you go order. Nope. Famous Dave's ain't famous no more. See, you get Famous yeah. Dave's to carry this stuff. It's going to be some 21 year old college people, 19 year old college people, warming your pulled pork up, warming your, overcooking your food, making, you know, basically when you get there, it's going to be some mediocre barbecue and it's not <laughs> going to be to the standard. It ain't, ain't going to be famous no more. It, it ain't, it ain't. I'll make you famous, though, boy. I'll make you famous. <laughs> and, and, and that's one thing that I pride myself on, bro. I pride myself on the the feedback. I give. You know how it is. It's like a natural high in it. When, you, when, when, when somebody come tell you how good the barbecue is and stuff, it makes our head big, but, it, but, but, but it's like a natural it's a good feeling. It's not pride, but it's a good feeling that you have made this person experiment, experience uh, that flavor, right? Hello? It was freezing up. We back? I, yeah, yeah, I'm back. Okay. Yeah, you. I can see you and everything. Okay, yeah, you good. broke up for a minute, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So, you, you, do you know how it feels when you get that compliment, like a compliment of somebody telling you, "Man, this was the best food I ever had." Oh my goodness, you're amazing. It, 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 it's a sense of pride, but but what it is, it, it, it goes deeper than the money. It goes deeper than anything. It 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 is it, that um I satisfy my my customer and on top of that mm-hmm. I satisfy myself if right. that makes sense you, know, you did it right that, yes. that, 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 you know all that work and effort that you tied you know that that was that 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 I, okay I did it right you know what I'm saying when you get that compliment that that you know thank you for that you know so what's yeah. up what's up Taylor good to see you I love to hear that because at the end of the day you know, saying when you get that pat on your back when you're exhausted after that long day, and somebody tell you that, come on, man, that's that, that's all you need right there. That kind of energize you, like to go on, to, you know, to the next job. Amen, amen. And one thing, and one thing uh, that I notice about good barbecue is 
this, this is a good story, man. I did a wedding and I did my pork loin wedding. I always do my pork loin with the pulled chicken, cheesy potatoes, and green beans. Uh, and a dinner roll with my garden salad, sixteen fifty. That's my that, that is my wedding classic to go to. And the pork loins I use is the pump ones, the ones with the solution in it. So I cook them to one hundred forty five internal temperature. I let them rest an hour. I slice them. A, 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 a quarter inch thick and they get three and they get a scoop of pulled chicken green beans and cheese and potatoes a dinner roll okay and they can go back much as they want to this doctor 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 cougar he, 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 he ate it was at this big fancy wedding there was like 500 people there this man ate the food Bust through the kitchen. This is a true story. This doctor bust through the kitchen. He said, T, I travel all over the United States of America. He said, I have never ate a plate of food that good before in my life, and I'm 64 years old. When he told me that, when he told me that, boy, I thought my head was about to blow on my body. He said, T, I'm not exaggerating. He said, what did you do to it? I said, all I seasoned it, that, that pork loin with is salt and pepper and garlic. He said, no, you didn't. I said, yes, sir. I said, I seasoned everything with salt, pepper, and garlic. I said, because I don't want to have people get allergic reactions to gluten and things of that nature. So I, I, I know how Food allergies are, so I try to stay with salt, pepper, and garlic when I'm doing these big events because you can tell people all day, this got gluten in it, this has, but a lot of those seasons have gluten or or MSG in it and all that kind of stuff, so I try my best to stay away from putting that on my uh, wedding food because I'm doing the masses, you know, so I, I, I tell them that and, uh, it, it, you know, but he didn't believe it, but that's the truth, man. And, and I, that was one of the best compliments I ever had. If he knew how to run Facebook, I, I told him to put it on Facebook. He said, I don't got a Facebook. So <laughs> but, you know, I can tell the story. <laughs> yeah, but I always say simple is better. When you try to do a whole lot of stuff, especially when you're cooking for people, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to go too far. Because, you like you said, allergies, you know, allergic, yeah. all kind of, you know, Stuff going on. Simple is better. Even just black pepper and salt. You know what yes. I'm saying? It's simple. So, you know, I mean, I, I mean, I love all the rubs. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? But we like when you cooking for people. Because I've have a lot of vegans. I have a lot of people that don't want to deal with MSGs. They got a lot of you know what I'm saying problems. Mm -hmm. So you gotta know how to narrow that down. That's why I don't cook with certain oils because allergic reactions. So you just gotta be careful and see cater for people. Man, it's a lot of liability because you feeding people. So you know that's the first thing you don't want to do is get somebody sick. So that's why when I was in school, that's the first thing they taught you, man. They taught you safety on food. So you know, okay. saying to I, understand I, that you know, you, you open that door. I got a question to ask you, a big question. All right, should I call you right. and ask this question, or do you want to just ask you this question straight out? Okay. I'm, this is not a. This is not one of those stub toe questions. This is a question that uh, it's no right or wrong answer. I'm just put it like that. But you just said it's the first thing they taught you about food safety, right? <laughs> okay. Washing your meat. Do you wash your meat or do you don't wash your meat? Yes or no? No, I, I, rinse, I rinse my meat up. Okay, rinse your meat. Okay, 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 okay. Rinse your meat. All right, all right. Brisket. Yeah, I don't. I don't wash. I mean, I rinse it off because you do the. You. Uh, I, you know, I usually sometimes use vinegar when I'm washing off my meat. I mean, my. I learned from Caribbeans how to wash the meat, so I use white, white, uh, uh the stain. Uh, yeah. Vinegar. Yeah. To clean okay, my meat. Okay. Yeah. okay. 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 All right. Okay then. Okay. Cause I took this question. What's your thoughts about that? Well, see, I grew up, that's all we did. We washed everything, bro. Everything. 
If if you didn't wash your meat when I grew up, you you was a nasty person. Okay, I'm just putting it out like that. <laughs> you were nasty, and, and nobody ain't gonna. You will be the kind of person that bring a dish to the church cook, and nobody ain't gonna eat your food because you're nasty. He don't even wash his meat. You know, we ain't gonna, was, your, your food just sitting there in your casserole dish. You look at all that cooking and nobody gonna touch it. Look kids, mom, can I ask them that? No, she ain't wash her meat. Uh, he didn't wash his meat. Okay, I took a class called Serve Safe about six, seven years ago. Mm-hmm. They told me by washing your meat, you have, more, you have 80% higher chance of getting people sick due to the water splashing the bacteria in, in, in particles that you can't see and cross-contaminating the pork and the beef and the chicken and things of that nature. This is what they explained to me. I ain't never been sick before, you know, I have a food poison, but it wasn't my food. It was, it was, it was off, uh, that's a long story. But uh, so when they told me that, I, I do something what you say with the chicken. I got to wash that chicken. I got to well, not wash the rent. I got to clean my chicken, okay? And I got to clean right, it right. up. And get, get the fat off of it, do all that. I got to do all that. And I trim the back piece off, okay? And, and the same thing with the whole chickens and stuff. Beef, I do not. Beef, I just take it out of the package, wipe it off. Trim it seasoned with beef, okay? But poultry, but uh, uh, pork, I tend to to to, to get the water, the water, and rinse it off, and then get the vinegar and kind of do the do the steel white vinegar with the pork. I, I, I just can't get over that just yet. With the, but I don't do it around each other. I, I, I'm trying to lean towards doing what the food inspectors say do because. They, they want me to do it, you know, uh, and I want to stay in code with the food inspectors, but that's now, food now with me. Now, I definitely cook, definitely have to cook the chicken, you know. Yes. So, I mean, not cook, I mean, definitely have to clean the chicken, you yes, know. So, yes. we know I normally soak it, you know, I'm saying clean it, clean the butter off the fat, that yellow fat, all that. Make sure they got feather, feathers off because sometimes you got a little fine feathers and stuff like yeah. that. When it comes out of the beef. Now I don't now when it, it comes down to certain steaks because how they slice it, you know what I'm saying, I wash it because sometimes the, the chips of the bone be in the in, in there. So I sometimes okay. clean it, you know, just clean it. I, I don't like cleaning it where it starts turning gray. Nah. You know, mm-hmm. a little, little quick wash on the pork, yes. You know what I'm saying? Gotta clean pork the same as that, same as that gray vinegar, stuff in the water, stuff like that. I, I ain't talking about no soap. I don't know that ain't happening. No, 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 no. When I say wash, I, I'm just talking about regular water. You know, I, I, yeah, no, I got you. that's just the way I talk. I say wash. I don't mean wash it like wash dishes. I'm talking like wash like rinsing it under water. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, then that, 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 you know, that's good to get another person's perspective. Cause man, I get clowned on YouTube about not washing briskets. People are like, oh, you nasty. <laughs> you can't even wash your brisket off. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. With a paper towel. Well, well, yeah, now, now, now. I pat down my brisket. You know, I may wipe it out a little bit, but I'm not gonna be over over. When I, once I start trimming it and and everything like that, um, you know that that temperature is so is high. And I saying it ain't it ain't it's clean or not clean or whatever like that. But you cooking it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. at a certain temperature of your of your meat, you know what I'm saying? That temperature kills the bacteria. But Amen. you know what I'm saying as far as I have to wash my chicken, but beef, I, yeah. it's not like I'm going to be doing all that rinse, all that too much on that. No, no. Yeah, amen. And hey, we got the dog father in the house. <laughs> the dog father in the house, Elton, Mr. Matthews. How you doing, brother? Dog pound in the house. The dog father's here. Dog father barbecue. Elton, what's up, brother? How you doing? Yeah. What's yeah. going on, dog father? So... So now, when you do your barbecue sauce, 
Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, I need help. Uh, 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 I need help right now. I need you. I, I, I need you right now. I need help, guys. Hey, like the church say, we need you. We got a building fund. You may not see no new dough knobs. You may not see one brick laid. But you need to you need to commit to this building fund. One day we're gonna build. <laughs> Man need the votes. You know what I'm saying? We need the votes today. <laughs> we need the votes today. We need you to rock the vote. We need you to get out and vote right now. <laughs> hey, when is the when is the uh voting up? When is the vote uh the Wednesday. voting day up? Wednesday. 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 Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. Wednesday. I heard that, so y'all better get out there and vote. But you know what, though? Hey, I ain't trying to knock myself, but boy, I'm going against a boy. That, that, you, see, you see that video? Did you, did you see? Uh, yeah, I tell you, that's my boy, uh, man. A uh, great uh, video. I mean, I love this video. Uh, you see great video? So, yep. He showed his mother that video, didn't he? He tried to kick out me. He tried to one hit with me. He ain't that easy, Greg. Ain't that uh, easy. Look, look. I, yeah, I tell you, you about to get another child over there. You about to? Hey, 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 I tell you, you he hit me. Your over there, like, oh. <laughs> I took it. I took it. I, I'm trying to be like Rocky. I'm trying to give him them deep waters right now. I tell you though, he he came out with that video, a video where he came out. So, you know what I'm saying? But I'm telling y'all guys, hey, why don't y'all come through and rock that vote for me? Hey, hey, you heard what my boy uh Dog Father says? Restaurants don't even wash their meat. No, nah, they don't. Nope, nope. I, I work, I work, I work for Ducso and Marriott for Four years. I ain't never seen them wash anything. I used to look at them like, I ain't even eating this crap, but you know, they ain't never washed nothing. So duck so didn't. Right. It's a local TV. <laughs> hey, I'm on I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook, bro. I don't know how to use Instagram. Or none of that kind of stuff. So if I did not use Instagram, I may go on TikTok today and make me a little TikTok video. Shoot. You got TikTok video? <laughs> I got some TikTok videos, bro. I got I got I, 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 go I, 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 I got one top TikTok video with Posse on Broadway, so I miss a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got, I got, I got one with Miss. Lo- hey, I got a, I got a brisket video on TikTok with Juicy playing Juicy, and I got me holding the <laughs> brisket, Juicy, Juicy fruit. You know, well, I tell you what, but you put that stuff on YouTube, better take your channel down. <laughs> Man, for real. Oh. <laughs> oh, That's why I be noticing that. That's why I be seeing on YouTube. People be having to say, I wash my meat. Oh, folks will come for you. Oh, my goodness. Hey, man, I'm telling you, man. Man, no. Hell, I'm sorry, brother. But you got me laughing, brother. Ooh, cause man, you should hear my people back home, man. When I tell them, when I be cooking, when I go back home to cook, bro, and I be doing, I be trying to do something, man. My mom be the first one, baby. You ain't gonna wash that meat? Nah, mom, you don't wash beef. Yeah, you do. You don't know what they be doing now. You don't know what they. Mama ain't even washed on me, mama. <laughs> but yeah, most definitely. But yeah, man, most definitely. So jerk chicken out. Now, do you do your own jerk chicken? Or or, or, or do you use a, I mean, excuse me, not own jerk chicken, but uh, do you use your own marinade? Or do you go and get some of that uh, 
what is it called backwoods or uh, the stuff in the jars or you do your oh, own you you you're talking about Walker's wood. No, I yeah, used Walker to use Walker's wood, but I know how to make my own from scratch. Yeah, I know how to use my own uh, uh marinade and everything. I make my own I make my own jerk seasoning. You married yeah, I make my I make my dry wood, yeah. Okay. So have you ever had uh planta wood? I mean what is it called? Uh the wood they use to smoke the jerk on? It's called planta? No, they don't have any I mean I have to order it, you know what I'm saying, in order to do that. But nah, you know, uh, just regular uh, wood or or charcoal, whatever. But nah, we don't oh, have the pimento uh, trees. Yeah, uh, pimento wood. Yeah, I was thinking about ordering some off of uh, uh, Amazon one time. I seen some of the Amazon. That stuff is expensive, man. And thank you, Elder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shoot, get a get a get a get somebody from Jamaica. They'll send it to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shoot, they got plenty of trees. They cut well, I think it's a I think it's against the law to cut them trees in Jamaica unless it falls down and then people chop it up. You know what I'm saying? Because I think I went out went over there uh for a tour in Jamaica. They uh they were talking about they can't cut down the trees. I think it's against the law. But if it fall or rotten or die, they can cut from it. So you oh, know. okay. So, so when you barbecue, what do you spritz your meat with? Um, cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and apple cider. You know, uh, oh, you know that's all yeah. I do. Apple cider vinegar, apple cider. Because you get a little sweet, do you get the, the tang for the apple cider? Right. right. Uh, okay, okay. You know, I, I use apple cider vinegar and water, or either apple cider vinegar, apple salt, I mean, apple juice. You know, uh, any of that is, 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 is you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with the apple cider vinegar. So, in your opinion, what do the apple cider vinegar do to the meat? You think? For me, give it a little. For, for me, the, the, the vinegar give it a little twang, especially when it comes down to your chicken. I love cider. I even I can I even um, marinate, not marinate, but I even sprinkle uh, cider vinegar over my meat. Before I season it, just over the okay. chicken, you know. Okay. And then, you know, I, you know, and then, but when I spritz it over my brisket, you know, what I'm saying on my ribs, you know, it, to me, it give it that. I, I guess it's a, it's a kind of you have a, like a sharpness or a kind of a, a citrus behind it, you know. What I'm saying, I, th I think that's what I'm saying, right? But it give mm -hmm. a little, 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 little twang to it. Yes, yes. I, uh, me, my mop sauce uh, that I grew up using consists of uh, a lard, lard base, and then you go in with your onions and bell peppers and garlic, fry it down real good, infuse the lard with all those vegetables and herbs, add your black pepper, salt, and garlic, more to it, and then pour your apple cider vinegar in that. And the lard gives it that color, the lard does, and uh, the vinegar gives it that twang you're talking about, and the onions and f it flavors the meat because uh, my granddaddy used to uh, cook barbecue, and it wasn't because it's just that back then there wasn't that many seasons available, so they, all they did was use black pepper and, and a, 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 a little cayenne pepper and some salt. That's it. That's all they used. And it was iodine salt. It wasn't no kosher salt. It was just regular old iodine salt. That's what they used to put everything on. And, man, that was some of the best barbecue I ever had in my life, you know, my, the way they used to cook it, you know. And, uh, you know, yeah. this is for all the rubs and things of that nature, you know. Uh, thank God for those. But I'm just saying, sometimes it's just good to turn back to old school barbecue. Return home. Yeah, old school. Yeah. Return home. Home. It's always good. Come home. Yep. Sometimes we just got to come <laughs> home to places. Sometimes we just got to come home to what made us. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Exactly. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Urban culture. I want everybody to go over to your channel and sub to your channel, brother. Can you put your link hey, on your channel? Out. Can you put your link on your, on your channel right there in the chat for me, please? Let me see. Let me yes. see if I can do that. Yes, please go over to the channel. We're gonna do a collaboration. 
Cause I know I got a collaboration to do with uh C and V cooking. Yeah. Me and him will do an oxtail collaboration, and I know me and you gonna do a collaboration with the with the Walmart grills, correct? Oh, I got it right there. My boy Mad Wood, man, he got a fuck. Boy, I tell you what, Mad Wood barbecue, man. That's what Iowa people do. Appreciate this that, Mad Wood. I in Iowa, you see that now? See my boy Mad Wood. This is why I stay in Iowa, man, because man. It's people like that, man. My boy, Mad Wood, Daddy Dutch, man. You may not believe, it, man. This is one of the lovingest states, man, in the United States of America, the state of Iowa. Man, these people out here are genuinely good, man. I'm just telling you, bro. We have so many great experiences out here in Iowa. I met the best people of my life out here in this Midwestern rural community called Iowa, you know, and I come from a uh, rural country, like, but it, it was predominantly black folks, you know, one time I seen, uh, let me just tell you where I come from, one time I seen white people, where I was from, they was trying to buy drugs, that's the only time I seen them, where I was from, but uh, when I came here to play football, it was a culture shock, because I went from being, uh, seeing that, Till now, I'm at this college and all I seen, but man, when I got to Iowa, man, it was just the love, man, that they show you. And uh, man, it, it's just that they see something, they do something. They see a problem, they do something. And, and, and you know, and that's how I was raised to be that way. But it's good to see communities like that, communities built right. like that. And I thought this is a good place and a good place to raise your kids. And that just that's just a representation. Madwood is a representation of what Iowa people is about. And I, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I got a cousin in Iowa out there. He's he been trying to get me on down there to hang out with him. Uh, 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 cousin, uh, on Iowa. Hey, hey. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know exactly. I'm about to look at it, look at it. I'm not sure okay. what part I was, but I know he out there. He did, he moved. He been out there for I think three years now. All you right, know, but uh, I'm not sure what, what part I was. Okay. Oh, ain't nothing. Look, they threw up the Lakers. No, ain't nothing. Look, I got I got my Lakers jersey up in the back. Don't worry about it. You know, said LeBron just ain't playing. You know, I see a little sports talk of it. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Lakers, huh? See me, I'm all about I'm all about my <laughs> Dallas Cowboys, and then I, I am a Miami Heat fan. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a Florida Gator fan. You know, Elton, dog father of Florida Gators forever. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and the best high school football in the United States of America is played. It, it played. The, the best football is played. Oh, I got my boy Rick. Rick calling me. What up, Rick? What's up? What's up, Rick? Hey, hey, hey! I'm sitting here on uh, I'm sitting here on, on on Facebook Live, Rick. What you up to, man? <laughs> I mean, on YouTube Live. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Man, this is my brother, Rick. Man, this is my best friend, Rick, right here. Yeah, you should hop in on with us, man. Hey, Rick, KC in the house. Hey, Rick, KC in the house. Okay, then. All right. That's what's up. <laughs> All right. Catch me later, Rick. All right. Bye-bye. That's my boy, Rick, you man. Rick, right right he's all well, that he's dog, this. dog father talking about cowgirls. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I ain't saying about the Miami. Uh, uh, they ain't hurricanes no more. They're more like a uh, tropical storm. I ain't saying about the Miami tropical storm. <laughs> He a Miami Hurricane fan. He a Miami Tropical Storm fan. You know, they ain't, they ain't making no waves no more. They ain't doing what they do. They let all the talent from down south. They let, they let Alabama come and take all their talent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, man. But hey, hey, but 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 you know what? It, it, right now, I'm going to copy right here. I'm putting in the chat one more time. Go over there and vote now. We need y'all to vote. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead, guys. And I'm going to hop on out.
But I, I just want to tell everybody go vote for your boy TNT. Every kitchen man, culture kitchen man has been, man, KC has been cool hanging out with you, bro. I'm already sub to your channel. Good hanging out with you. So, so, so I want everybody to go sub to his channel, man. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all guys for coming out, man, chat with us, man. And be blessed. See you, brother. Hey, but, you, but hey, hey, go to my Facebook page. Leave me your information and stuff. And uh, so, um, us TNT okay. Barbecue Cater, so we can talk about this collaboration, okay? Okay, I will. I'll do that. All, All right, right guys. Right. I'll see you in the channel. See you. Go vote.